Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome in once again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jack Wolf Knives Midnight Jack re-release of the original Midnight Jack. And there's going to be a live release date of Friday, February 16th, 2024 at 2 p.m. Eastern at all of their authorized dealers. Now you can go to Jack Wolf Knives website and click on their authorized dealers tab and it will list for you every dealer that carries their products. And it links you directly to the Jack Wolf section of each of those dealers. Now that I finally own one of the original Midnights, which was a goal of mine for a very, very long time, and I didn't really want to pay the secondary market prices because this is one of, if not the most sought after Jack Wolf knives design and this particular colorway in the purple haze, I was going nuts not having one. It was one of the only knives that I didn't own from the brand that I really, 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 really wanted. And that's because mainly of the shape of the blade. That, she that sheep's foot blade is fantastic for cutting, especially cutting open small things like packages and things like that. It's just so useful to use that intersecting uh, tip right there. Just love it. Now what you're seeing out here is what you get in the package. This is your tube with the very, very cool artwork, as we can see right here. And it has the artist's name listed on here. Jay Gonzo Art. I always forget that one because he is the newer of the two artists that have been doing Jack Wolf Knives artwork. You get the pog, you get a pair of stickers, and most importantly, you get the leather slipcase for you to keep your knife in to keep it from getting all banged up and scratched up by the change in your pocket and keys in your pocket and whatever else you carry in your pockets. Let's get all this stuff out of the way because we no longer need any of that. And let's just talk about this knife right here all by itself for a moment, shall we? Now I can definitively say that it is absolutely one of Ben's best designs. I found the size to be completely perfect. It's large enough to do actual work and small enough to be perfect for EDC carry and you mostly forget that this is even in your pocket. It's smaller than a vampire, but larger than a cyborg, so it's one of those really great medium-sized slip joints that's going to kind of do everything for you, and that's why I feel that it really satisfies the EDC part of the equation very, very well. Now, a lot of times we'll sacrifice, we, we will compromise, we want a knife that's really small and lightweight and easy to carry, and then it ends up just being not enough knife to do what you actually want to do with it sometimes. Or sometimes we'll go the opposite route and carry something big and stout and fat and heavy. And it's just kind of a pain in the ass to carry throughout the day. So this is, in my opinion, the perfect size without compromise. Now, if you know me at all, you know I absolutely love retro 1980s themed stuff particularly Miami-inspired 1980s themes, so the chaotic resin scales was the perfect choice for me. Take a look at those. Look how beautiful that is. Now, these vary greatly. So, uh, you know, just like all of the carbon fiber patterns can vary in how much color may or may not be in them, this will vary as much or more. I've actually seen some of the variants that Ben and Donnie have posted where there's a lot more white in there than black. But uh, some have more white, some have more black, some have more color than black. It, it's going to vary greatly. So whatever you have in your mind, just keep in mind that you want to be a little bit open-minded about what you're going to receive. It will be very artistic. It will be very swirly and cool but you may have more or less color or more or less black or white. You just don't know until they come in because these are blocks are individually poured. They're going to be poured differently and then they're cutting the scales or covers as they're called uh, from each of those blocks. So there's no way to know what you're going to get. As I said before, I think this might be the perfect Jack Wolf design for me. 
Uh, now, a lot of you guys have one of the original Midnight Jacks, and if you do, sound off down below. How do you feel about yours? Is it one of your preferred sizes in the slip joints that you own? Is it too big? Is it too small? Is there something about it that you don't like? Is there thing, are there things about it that you just absolutely love? And how do you feel about that blade shape? Because for me, it all kind of comes together to be the perfect slip joint knife, the perfect deep pocket carry, the perfect backup to my main knife that I'm carrying, and anything that I'm going to go through and uh, cut open, it, this is certainly going to fit the bill for me. Now, one of the things I really, really like about this is the consistency from one knife to the other, because realize this was made about a year ago, and this, well, it hasn't even come out yet, this is brand spanking new for 2024. They are dimensionally identical. They are functionally identical. Down to the walk and talk. Listen to this. I'm going to close this one. Now I'm going to close this one. Now let's open the OG. And open the new one. They sound the same. They feel the same. The pull strength is the same. Walk and talk is the same. Everything is identical except for the material options and colors that they're going to be offered in. Now, for me, like I mentioned, loving the retro 80s Miami stuff, this was clearly the choice for me. But there's going to be uh, a lot of other options that are a bit more classic. If you don't want something quite as wild or, you know, crazy, you want something a bit more classic, I'll pop a few of the images up on the screen now. Please do keep in mind, photo credit for these go to Jack Wolf Knives. I'm sure it was Ben that took the pictures. These are not my images popping up on the screen. Those are the choices that you're going to have. And keep in mind that the dark matter copper will look a lot like the first run midnight that was offered in the dark matter gold. It's just basically a shade or two off, but it's so similar. So in reality, each of these are brand new, completely, totally new options that separate them from the original offerings. Now let's talk about the specs. Let's get to that because that's going to be important for a lot of you to know, especially at this point so early on uh, before you're even able to order them. You want to be able to make up your mind. Is this going to be the right size knife for me or not? Let's see. The Midnight Jack is a Barlow pattern, so it is coffin shaped. You have this really cool coffin shape, especially uh, at the butt. You really see that pronounced there. Your close length is 3.78 inches. Blade length is 2.87 inches with a cutting edge of 2.53 inches. So two and a half inches when you factor in that sharpening choil that's cut into the blade. Your blade stock thickness is 120 thousandths of an inch thick and it weighs a mere 2.4 ounces. The covers on mine are the Chaotic Resin and again, I cannot mention this enough. Each one will be 100% unique. No two will be alike if you're getting into the chaotic. Uh, the bolsters and the, uh, the frame is all 6AL4V dark blasted titanium. Hardware is polished titanium Torx. And your blade is a hollow ground S90V steel blade which means you're going to have great longevity for your edge retention, as well as very, very, very high corrosion resistance. Those are the standout features for S90V. It is a premium super steel. And the blade finish on this one is going to be that beautiful belt satin. Now keep in mind, for the first time ever, Ben is going to be offering a stonewashed blade. And, uh, Right now, off the top of my head as I'm recording this, I don't recall which of the variants is going to give you the stone wash blade, but by the time I sit down to edit this, I will have looked it up, and I'll be happy to pop it up on the screen in post to let you know. So, am I a bit biased on this? Uh, yeah, perhaps I am, because I am still in my honeymoon phase on my OG Midnight. Because as I said in my previous video where I just highlighted that particular knife, 
Uh, it took me a long time. I, I never did get around to getting one because this came out before I got into Jack Wolf Knives. And a friend of mine actually got one for me as a gift, sent it over to me, and I have been carrying it every single day, no matter what my primary knife choice has been. That has been in my pocket every single day. So I'm still in that honeymoon phase. I still very, very much love it. But when I sit up here in my studio where I keep all of my knives and I lay this out next to the other knives in my Jack Wolf Knives collection versus all of my slip joints, I still feel the exact same amount of love and lust for that design, for that pattern, for that blade shape. It's just awesome. I mean, how can you not love it? I mean, yeah, there are a lot of awesome choices from Jack Wolf Knives and a lot of awesome choices that I have in my personal collection. And sometimes it is difficult to choose the one you want, but as you look through them all and you, you get a feel for the ergonomics, which like the Havelina is one of my favorites because of the, the, the shape of the the pickle-shaped handles is one of my favorites in my hand. I love the ergos on that. I love the ergos on both of my vampires. I think they're fantastic. I love the size of both the big bro and little bro. And, you know, they, they are a little bit different, you know, so big and little. I think they're fantastic. But as you whittle them away, you always come down to your favorites, right? And one by one it gets easier and easier to figure out which ones you love the most. Now, I'm not going to lie. When you get down to these, it gets a little bit harder to pick out your favorites because they're all just so damn fantastic. And that's where I really land. My two vampires, my cyborg, the two midnights. It, 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 it's, oh my God, it's so hard to choose. It's so hard to pick. But right now... Again, I'm a little bit biased because of this honeymoon phase that I'm in. So, as you can see, for me, it's going to come right down to these two. And these are the ones that are going to be in my pockets the most often over the next, at least the next few weeks. And yes, I realize how difficult it's going to be in a few weeks because every month there's a new drop from Jack Wolf Knives. And that makes it both exciting and exasperating. Exciting because, man, what is Ben going to come up with next and what materials and what colors and how awesome is it going to be? And exasperating because, oh my God, A, do I have enough room to keep collecting all these knives? B, they can get expensive if you're buying knife after knife after knife at $300 a month. Let's not lie about that. $300 for these knives is not a lot of money, but it's still a good chunk of change, right? That's a grocery trip or two. No, not two, not, not anymore. Uh, but it's a good chunk of change, and doing it month after month after month, it can be a bit challenging, I'm sure. And listen, it just, it really is difficult to pick which ones you want to carry when you have so many. So does that mean Ben should slow down and do them every other month? No, 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 please don't ever do that. Every month is perfect. It's great. But it just means that each of my honeymoons are shorter and shorter as I begin to anticipate what he's going to come up with next. And I'm pretty excited. I'm going to put my request out there. Obviously, these things take a very long time. Once Ben decides what he's going to do, it could be probably a year before that comes out. So it won't be anytime soon. But Ben, you know how much I love the cyborg. Make a new cyborg. But here's my idea. Make it just a little tiny bit larger. Because as much as I love my cyborg, it is a little bit small. I know putting it right here against the midnight is not the point I was trying to make. It doesn't look very small when you put it right next to the midnight. But, you know, comparing it to the... Oh, my God, really? Is it as big as the... Get, no. There is no way it's as big as the vampire. No way. They feel so completely different in the hand. And maybe it's because of the shape here that, yeah, that's what makes it feel smaller because it feels like it's coming up short in my hand. When I hold the vampire, vampire comes all the way down here. When I hold the cyborg, it doesn't be because of the way it's shaped. All right, fine. 
then I just made a fool of myself on camera. That's fine. That's not the first time. <sighs> Let's not discuss the first time. This is, we'll call this the first time. Uh, as we move on, um, I'm, I'm still going to put it out there, Ben. I would love to see a newer update with some of these newer crazy materials that you're using in the amazing cyborg. And if it was just a hair bigger, that would be cool too. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here for now. Thank you guys for joining me as always. And do me a favor, help push the YouTube algorithm. If you liked this video, then show me, click the like button. The more people that like it, the more YouTube will push my videos out to new people that aren't subscribed to me yet that may want to see some of this content and may benefit from my content. And uh, go check out my secondary channel because with that one, you get short form reviews, generally around five minutes. So if you're in a hurry, don't have a lot of time for a full long-winded review, then you can check out the other channel and get your fix in. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much as always, and I'll see you on the next video.